All right, in this video, we're gonna talk about strong versus weak association as we look at scatter plots. Um, so what I've done is I have made up four pictures that are all, um, well, three of them are trending up. If you watched our last video, the last one really has a no trend, but I wanna talk about how strong or weak the association is. So association basically means, um, does it look like a line, okay? The more it looks like a line, it's strong, as it gets further away from looking a lot like a line, it's called weak. So if I look at this first one, and I know some of you are thinking in algebra classes, like these dots do not perfectly line up. True, but here, as far as data points are concerned, this is considered to be strong. And in fact, I would probably even put the word very with it, very strong, because it's almost a perfect line. We've got a few scattered on the edge, so this is gonna be a very strong association. So more line-like, the stronger it is. This one you can see is a little bit fatter. In fact, in my notes, I even talk about it kind of being a, like a fat paintbrush. So here, what happens is we definitely have a line-like shape, but we've got some scattered points, and those scattered points are definitely gonna make it a little bit weaker. So here, I would call this strong, and if you're a little bit nervous and you're thinking, man, it doesn't look that strong, we could call this somewhat strong. Okay, somewhat. Okay, so here I have strong being very strong, strong being somewhat, so I have a bit more spread. Okay, here, this brush or splatter is definitely starting to widen. So here, we are definitely getting more to the weak case, okay? This is definitely not looking like a line. This, in comparison, looks more line-ish, but definitely not as strong as these. So here we would call this weak, and it could just be weak, or you could say somewhat weak. Whereas this one, it's very, this does not look like a line in any shape or form. Okay, so sometimes students feel great about kind of eyeballing it and calling it very strong to very weak. Others get a little bit nervous in this gray area, like how do you know? How can you decide, Jen? Well, here we're just eyeballing it, but in the next video, we're gonna talk about the correlation coefficient. R, and R is a number. And that number will help us decide whether we're gray or whether we're very strong. So this will help back up how we're making these choices. So hang in there, it's all gonna come together. 